when it comes to nutrition for mental health, I'm really trying to go beyond just the biology. I think that understanding the mechanisms is super important. Um, but as a, as a dietitian, it's hard to always test for those things. There's certainly a lot of functional medicine testing and things that we can do, but it's also important, you know, how we think about food. And, and that's also what trauma-informed nutrition needs to incorporate. A lot of language around nutrition is triggering. So for example, if we know certain foods are not advantageous to the gut and you start messaging real negatively around these foods, don't eat these foods that could land on someone as a very, you know, re-traumatizing thing. Now I'm being told what not to eat and I'm being put on a diet and it creates new forms of stress in, in, in the mind that can in turn affect the gut. And so there's a lot there that needs to be unpacked. And I think the future will be really efforts to merge biology, psychology, and social context, which is what we call the biopsychosocial model.